Students, welcome to the online class of Pure School Government Girls High School. Today, I will take a class for the students of class six. So, uh, the students of class six, you uh, please open at page number. Twenty-eight. Uh, you have your English for today book. That is your English first paper. Uh, of that book, you will open uh, at page number twenty-eight. There, you will see the topic "Health is Wealth." Lesson nine, and the title is "Health is Wealth." I have also written on the board. Uh, our today's lesson is lesson nine, and uh, the title is "Health is Wealth." So, students, let me read out the thesis. I am now reading from the page number thirty and thirty-one. I am reading the text. A proverb says, "Health is wealth." To keep healthy is to keep free from disease and anxiety. Good health is proper functioning of all body organs. It is also feeling well both in body and in mind. People in good health are active, cheerful, and happy. If you are healthy, you can be happy and can help others in society as well. To keep in good health, we should be careful about hygiene. The rules and practices of keeping good health are called hygiene. We must practice the rules of hygiene. Proper food and nutrition. Physical exercise, rest and sleep, cleanliness, and proper medicare are essential for good health. Some important rules of good personal health are as follows. Number A, balanced diet. Our food should contain correct proportion of carbohydrates, fat, protein. Vitamins, minerals, and water in it. Number B, personal hygiene. We should follow the personal health practices such as wash your hands before eating, bathe regularly, and wear clean clothes. Brush your teeth twice regularly. Do not let your nails grow long. Cut them regularly. Wash your feet and hands, hands before going to bed. Number C, cleaning household. We should keep our household and environment clean. Number D, taking clean food and water. Our food should be fresh, clean, and properly cooked, and water should be pure. Number E, taking regular exercise. We should take part in games and sports and take physical exercise regularly. Number F, taking regular sleep and rest. We should sleep properly and take proper rest. So, dear students, this is the thesis. This is the text I have read out. So, I think that here. You do not find any difficult word. The words are very common to you, and uh, so I think that uh, it is not so much difficult for you to understand what the uh, text is about or what the passage tells about. Uh, this is about health, and at the very beginning of the passage, you see that health is wealth. Uh, this proverb. 
has been mentioned at the very beginning, health is wealth. And uh, then we have found hygiene, the definition of hygiene, and uh, some important rules for our uh, personal health has been given here. That is, one is balanced diet, one is uh, personal hygiene, another is cleaning household, then taking clean food and water, then taking regular exercise, taking regular sleep and rest. So all these factors are necessary for our good health. So on the basis of this passage, students, I have given the board. If you uh, look at the board, you will see some questions written on the board. The first one is, what do you do we mean by hygiene? What do we mean by hygiene? This is our first question. The answer, if you uh, go through the text minutely, if you, uh, then you will be able to answer the question because uh, the answer is written in the uh, second para. You will find that uh, the rules and practices of keeping good health are called hygiene. So the answer will be the rules and practices of keeping good health are called hygiene. This is directly given in the passage. So uh, it is easy for you, I think. Then question number two, dear students. What are, what are essential for good health? What are essential for good health? This is our uh, second question. So the answer will be proper food and nutrition physical exercise, national sleep, cleanliness, and proper Medicare are essential for good health. The answer is, I am telling it once again, proper food and nutrition, physical exercise, national sleep, cleanliness, and proper Medicare are essential for good health. This is the answer. Number three, these students, you see, the question is, what do we mean by Balanced diet. What do we mean by balanced diet? So, our food should contain correct proportion of carbohydrates, fat, protein, vitamins, minerals, and water in it. Our food, that is to say, our food should contain the six ingredients of food, that is, carbohydrates. Uh, fat, protein, vitamins, minerals, and water. If our daily food contains all these six ingredients, then it is called a balanced diet. So this is the answer. And number four, the students will see what are the rules of personal hygiene. What are the rules of personal hygiene? So there are some rules of personal hygiene. They are uh, washing our hands before eating, bathing regularly and wearing clean clothes, brushing our teeth twice regularly, washing our feet and hands before going to bed. So this is the answer of our fourth question. So the students, I think that all of you have understood me well. Uh, so, at your home you will read out the passage several times and then you will try to write the answer of these questions on your notebook. You will try to write the answer of these questions. So, the students, uh, this is the end of my today's class. Inshallah, uh, in our next class we will again meet, we will again, I will again appear before you. Uh, so, till then, Allah Hafiz, thank you very much.